Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we're going to compare Mistral AI 7 billion parameter model with the Llama 13 billion parameter model. And I'm not going to do the test myself. I came across a very nice website called LLM Boxing. You're going to go to this website and after you go, just you have to just select begin. And we're going to compare the 7 billion Mistral AI with the 13 billion Llama 2 model. That's what we're going to do. So everywhere we are going to have a question and for that we have to select the response that you personally feel. So at the end of my test, it is completely possible I might see Llama 2 as a winner or I might see Mr. AI as winner. But the point of this video is for you to give that opportunity for you to try it out yourself. Let me get started. How does photo photosynthesis work in plants? Choose the better response. And uh, we have the first response. Here is how photosynthesis works in plants in one concise paragraph. And it goes on and says, and um, photosynthesis is the process by which I kind of like this uh, because you know it doesn't start with a lot of verbatim and um, yeah I, I like this let's go okay this one was Mr. AI okay we have got one winner here and uh, Llama 2 has got one punch that means it has got only four health remaining okay let's go to the next one what are some recipes for a vegetarian high protein breakfast we'll also see how this test was created later in the video but for now let's see what are some recipes for a high for a vegetarian high protein breakfast? Here are a few recipes for a vegetarian high protein breakfast. Gr green yogurt with berries and nuts, chickpea and spinach scramble, oatmeal with um, almond milk, chia seeds, tofu, avocado toast, um, high in protein and calcium, which is high in protein. Okay, I like this. <laughs> It's Mr. again. Okay, next round. Can you explain the main principles of stoicism and how it can be applied today? Choose the better response. Sure, here is an example of the main principle of stoicism and how they can be applied today in one concise paragraph. And it just, I, I think like I outright like this. It gives the details about stoicism founded by Zeno of CTM in ancient Greece. I like this. It's Mr. AI. Okay, explain the process of it's the same question and um, of course I like this last time so it's, it's like a cheat cheat question. Next round, I'm thinking about taking up a, a woodwork as a hobby. What are some beginner friendly projects that I could start with? Great choice. Working can be rewarding and enjoyable hobby as a beginner. Okay, I, I this is a very chat GPT like response. I don't like you know this this kind of great choice and all these things. So let me go ahead with this. Wow. So that is Mr. AI. So the other one was Llama 2. So I have got all the five responses that I selected in one, which is like a cheat question, but everything that I've got is actually Mr. AI, the 7 billion parameter model. So I, as a human being, I prefer the 7 billion parameter model from Mr. AI than the 13 billion parameter model from Llama 2. That is what this result actually tells us. It's not an ex ex extensive or exhaustive list of questions like we did with uh, Mr. AI and uh, Chat GPT, GPT 3.5 Turbo, but still it, it is a very nice one. And uh, you know, it has got like all the details available here for you to try it out. So how is this working? So if you want to, before even going there, uh, if you want to see the overall result, you can see that overall out of approximately like 7,500 people, 3,400 people, or 3400 times Llama 2 13 billion ch chat model has won. But Mistral 7 billion parameter model instruct model has won 4100. I mean, we are not doing any statistical significance here, but this is a huge difference. You can see like around like 700 ish difference over, um, you know, 7000, 7500 responses. So Mr. AI definitely has something like irrespective of the benchmark, even the test we did, it was quite amazing. And this one also proves that Mr. AI has got something interesting. How this is working. So the questions are generated by GPT-4 using this prompt. I'm creating an app that compares large language model completions. Can you write me some prompts that I can use to compare them? They should be in a wide range of topics. For example, here are some I already have. And you give the example. Example output. How are you today? My wife and it gives questions. Like it gives the list of questions that we the person is asking GPT-4 to generate for us to see those questions and then see the comparison between 
llama 2 13 billion parameter model and mistral 7 billion instruct model and it just gives the question so this is been hosted by replicate uh, the company that uh, you know offers the api service for a lot of these models so you can you can actually go here and then see previously they have done a different test llama 2 70 billion chat, chat model versus gpt 3.5 and this was like a whopping victory, huge amount of uh, votes for Lama to 70 billion parameter model. So I'm literally looking forward to see when this test is going to complete and then see if Mistral is going to come out like a clear winner. But at least like for me, from, from the live test that I did, you could see that I kind of like Mistral AI 7 billion response. I think a lot of these large language models are kind of like the smartphone cameras these days. Like you have a particular taste and you see whether you like the taste. Um, so for example, the, the test that we did is purely an individual preference and taste. It's it's not like a right answer or a wrong answer. It doesn't check the factuality of the answer or the quality of the answer. It just checks the taste of the answer. Like It's like comparing an iPhone camera with a Google Pixel camera. I mean, both are amazing hardwares. But what is the contrast level these algorithms are processing and how are they post-processing it? I think it comes down to like individual preferences. Probably that's what I feel about it. Let me know in the comment section what you feel, but irrespective of anything, Mistral 7 billion parameter model looks quite impressive. I'm uh, trying to put together like a RAG retrieval augmented generation tutorial based on Mistral AI. Let me know if this is something that you would be interested in. See you in another video. Happy prompting.